And many automakers are working to have self-driving cars ready for sale by the end of this decade. This week, Tim Stevens of our partner CNET was in Sweden for a ride in one of Volvo's first autopilot cars tested on public roads. This is the very first time that Volvo's invited any journalist to try a self-driving vehicle. And Tim Stevens joins us at the table. So how'd it go? Good morning. It went well. Morning. We, didn't, we didn't crash into anything, so I think that's the most important thing. Uh, yeah, what they're doing is basically a program in their hometown of Gothenburg, Sweden, where basically they're designating some roads around the city where you can go on with one of their cars, or you will be able to go on with one of their cars, hit a button on the steering wheel, and effectively the car will drive itself around the highway. So you can imagine being stuck in traffic or just needing to get to work in the morning. You can get on the highway, press a button, and the car will drive itself. By 2017, they want to have 100 of these cars uh, for sale to the public in Sweden. So how does this work? Basically, there's a sensor package that's built in behind the mirror, which has uh, a laser scanner, a couple of cameras, and then there's a radar sensor built into the front of the car as well, uh, which is looking forward to see uh, what's, what's ahead effectively. So the car can basically build a picture of what's coming in front of it. It can see the lines in the road. It can see the speed limit signs. Uh, and it can uh, drive itself forward and, and be smart. The interesting thing, it's all based on technology that's already in Volvo's cars today. There are quite a few other autonomous programs out there, de developers working on these cars, uh, but they're using extra sensors. Volvo's cars already have the sensors built in. Does it know how to slam on the brakes? Yes, yeah, so exactly what I'm <laughs> <laughs> Yes, it does. The one thing that their, their, their car doesn't know how to do yet is change lanes, but it will do that by 2017 when they release them. But yes, it certainly can slam on the brakes and slow down. And it will also have a wireless communication to the city. So the city can say there's road construction in the right lane at this area of the highway, so the car can automatically change lanes and go This around. seems like something everybody's working on. I mean, the whole idea has come to... Yeah, absolutely. Um, Every manufacturer is playing with this in some way. Uh, Google, of course, has their car, which they did a demo this week as well. Mercedes-Benz has been doing a lot of research. Audi, Nissan, Ford. Everybody's working on it. But as I mentioned, all these other cars that you see, the vast majority of them have very expensive sensors bolted onto the roof to enable the car to see around it. Volvo's is interesting because it's got low-cost tech that's already available and because they're saying it'll be out by 2017. Mm -hmm. uh, nobody else has really made a hard line in the sand like that. What can it do? What can it not do? Uh, it can't drive itself from point to point, and that's the big thing that a lot of these other cars can do. Google system, for example, you can sit in the car, type in where you want to go, and the car will take you there. Uh, a Volvo system is much more like a, a next step cruise control where it will take you on the highway. So that's, that's the big thing that it can't do just yet. I don't want to sound like Nana in the room that doesn't like change, <laughs> but it seems like with technology, so many things can go wrong and you're not behind a big machine on the road. Is this something that we should be concerned about safety? Do you think they'll have it down, Tim? It's definitely an important thing and they're testing millions and millions of miles on these cars to make sure because at this point they still very much need to tell it the scenarios to look for and, and tell it how to react in those scenarios. These cars aren't really learning for themselves. They're being taught how to drive and that's an important thing that needs to be figured out. But yeah, absolutely. More than 90% of all accidents are due to human error of some form or another. Uh, so basically the theory is they can make these cars safer. Volvo by 2020 wants all of its cars to be basically non-crashable uh, and this is an important way for them well, to, cost to deliver a lot. Uh, Volvo system right now, these sensors cost about $2,000 to add on to your car uh, by 2017, and it could actually be cheaper. And because Volvo's taking liability in these crashes, if indeed while it's driving itself, uh, it'll be Volvo's fault, your insurance might actually be a lot cheaper. All right, Tim, thanks. Always Thank good you. to see you.